Oh, I mean, I'm frustrated. Well, I mean, if, like the frustration comes from the aspect of the losses, and I would say so. Just got to get back on track of, of practicing, uh, focusing on the Dolphins, doing what we got to do out on the practice field, and uh, starting film, doing the meeting rooms, and getting better so we can go out and uh, we can we can be ready and focus on the Dolphins coming this Sunday. Did you know your brother was going to go on the radio yesterday? Did you guys no, talk before or after? Or? No, I didn't talk to him at all. And i don't tell you the truth. I mean, I feel like he probably was going on for a promotion thing for his ice shaker. Because if you've ever seen him, no lie. I mean, because he's been on Shark Tank with it. He's teamed up with A-Rod. So it's actually a pretty big deal. So I guess buy his ice shaker is what he was trying to get to. And then he probably got caught up in all that nonsense. So, uh, but I mean, he doesn't. To uh, speak for myself, I mean, and he knows he doesn't, but uh, he probably just got caught up a little bit, but just got to move on, buy his ice shaker, I guess, and and that's all. So you're cool with everything right now here? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, definitely. Did he give you a discount on the ice shaker? I mean, he better send me a couple free ones now or something. <laughs> you got to give one, you know. Uh, he's just studying his playbook. Every time I see him, he's in the playbook. Uh, just studying and just trying to get better. Uh, got to ask Coach about that one. Rob, just taking you back to your rookie year when you first saw that playbook, what was your reaction? Did you have any sort of sympathy for Josh? I mean, you definitely got to study it. It's a playbook that is, is definitely – pretty thick and you got to you got to be on top of your game you can't be slacking when it comes down to that i remember my rookie year you have to be in it at all times i mean luckily i've been here now going on year nine so i know the playbook i mean i would not say i'm back in my hand but there's always new things you can learn so you just always got to study it and the new plays that come in uh whatever it is you got to be on top of it every single day rob will having somebody like him Uh, myself, uh, going out there, adjusting to the coverages, uh, running, running faster, getting open, and uh, just working together as a team, as an offense. And uh, I mean, I really want to say, I mean, definitely for myself, I mean, my goal is obviously I want to get open all the time. But overall, I'm just focused on having the chemistry with the offense and, and executing plays and, and getting drive started so we can work together as a whole. Other teams throwing coverages at you that they haven't in the past, or is it the same stuff? I mean, it's all about the kind of the same. I mean, couldn't really say that I, I see different coverages I've never seen before, and so seeing them, seeing them basically all. I mean, can't. I mean, I I don't suspect there's going to be some brand new coverage that I've never ever seen before coming this Sunday. So, just got to be, be prepared for anything. Do you think there's uh, I mean, that's a tough question. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's football. Any given day, you can feel different, to tell you the truth. Do you feel this offense has the receivers to get the job done? Yes, I mean, I think the personnel we have, I mean, the guys we have, we just uh, definitely can get the job done. I feel like just overall, as an offense, we just got to go out and we got to execute. We got we to gotta put some plays together. We got to put some drives together, but definitely confident with the guys that are all around that I'm out there with and uh, with myself too. Rob, you guys have been in these early situa early season type of situations before where one and two, two and two, the early season records are probably not where ultimately you want it to be. With the understanding that every year is different, can you take anything from the previous couple of years where you guys had some of these slow starts and you can fall back on it and say, look, we've been in this situation before. I remember what it was like in 2014, 2016. And bring them forward. I mean, every year is different, but I mean, going through years when you've been years part of like that, when you've been part of them, I mean, you just got to keep going forward, no matter what it is. If you're if you're winning or if you're losing, and you got to just put put that week behind you, just focus on the week coming up, and take one game at a time, one day at a time, and you just got to keep on grinding. You got to keep your head up, uh, keep working hard, and uh, just put some plays together and keep working. 
What are the things that um, the David Andrews said yesterday was the importance of being consistent and continuing to come in and do your work and, and thinking that you know things are going to change ultimately. Is there something to that? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're going out to the practice field and, and you're consistent all the time, we go out there, we're consistent, we're making plays out on the practice field. It's going to change into the games. So cons consistency is definitely huge in the game of football. Rob, at the end of the game yesterday, the Lions were clearly uh, keying on you, put a couple defenders on you. What's the mindset knowing that, like, when you're going down the field, you're, uh, I think at the end of the game, Chris Collins said that guys lined up at you like you're a gunner going down on a punt. What's the mindset going down when you, when you just kind of know that, yeah, there's going to be a couple guys just banging you the whole way? Uh... I mean, I mean, you got you got to get into a different mindset, uh, knowing, like I said, I got to start adjusting uh, to coverages. You got to go into another mindset, that another level, uh, in order to take on two guys if you want to get open. So that's what I feel like I got to do, and, and I got to work on. What is the mindset when you have two guys on you? Just you got to go harder, or you got to take them away, and. Uh, and let the offense execute what they, what the offense has to do, and make sure I still do my job, and take those two guys with me, or, or whatever it is, and run, keep going full speed, so the play can develop wherever it's going to. Rob, what's the mindset being one and two facing a Dolphins team in the division who's three and zero coming here oh, this yeah. Sunday? Oh yeah, I mean it's a big game. It's a divisional game, our first one of the year. They're three and zero. We're one and two. Uh, it's going to be a big game. I mean. You just got to keep our heads up, and we got to be prepared when it comes down to Sunday at 1. You excited to see Danny Mignola again? Uh, I'm always excited to see Danny. I miss that guy. He's fun. Today, uh, the Patriots uh, face Rex uh, Burkhead. I mean, did you hear the sudden what do you do? I mean, it's never good to see guys like that going to IR. I mean, he's a good dude and a good guy to have around. So it's football. You just got to keep on grinding, and uh, whoever's in, just got to step up and keep on playing. Rob, is it important this week with their pass rushers, can't, uh, Wade and Quinn, to get the ball out quickly so they can get to it? Yeah, they got – We, I mean, I feel like every team has good pass rushers, and uh, you got to definitely get the ball out quick. I would say that definitely disturbs the defenses pretty well if you can get the ball out quick and make yards. So definitely that's what you want to do when you got good pass rushers on the other side of the ball. What kind of player and what kind of teammate did the Dolphins get in Danny Amendola? Oh, I mean, he's quick. Uh, he's feisty. So uh, definitely miss that guy, but uh, he's doing what he's got to do, and uh, it's going to be good to see him. Are you still in touch with him? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've always been in touch with Danny. So just like any, any other guys that, you know, Fan of the team, you see him. Rob, uh, you've been very forthcoming in your appreciation of what it means to play alongside a guy like Tom, including you talked about Sunday night, you talked about that in years past. Other than kind of what we see in the physical and, you know, throwing touchdowns, scoring, that kind of stuff, what are some of the things that, that are really special about the chance to play with a guy like Tom? I mean, just the way he prepares, the, his work ethic, the way he's just still going at his age and uh, just still has a competitiveness to him every single time he steps out on the field. And uh, it's just an, it's obviously an honor to be next to, to a quarterback like that in the huddle. And uh, it's really basically how he just brings it every single day, no matter what kind of day it is. We've heard Bill say on a number of occasions that I, would, I wouldn't have any other quarterback than Tom. And it sounds like that's something that you feel, you feel pretty strongly about as well. I mean, definitely. I mean, I'm going on year nine with him. I mean, to tell you the truth, you're not just going to walk in with another guy and you're just going to have chemistry like that. I don't care, you know, who it is, what kind of player. you got to build chemistry. And we've been going on year nine. What is this, year nine now? So to build all that chemistry up, I mean, you just want to keep, keep it going, keep it, keep it flowing. And uh, you know what, how to expect and get the best out of each other. So it's good to have that connection. It's good to have that chemistry. And just got to keep on improving every single time we can. Rob, how's your ankle? You were limited in practice today. How are you feeling? Yes, uh, feeling good. I mean, you know, there's a, it's football, bumps and bruises there and there. So feeling good. It was a good practice today overall um, as a team, as a unit. Two more questions. 
Uh, I mean, just throughout our career. I mean, I would say basically the friendships I developed over football too, over uh, studying football together, uh, getting together in the off season, extra stuff during the season. And uh, you just want to build that up so you can be on the same page and be the best, the best chemistry as possible that you can be. Uh, I would say so sometimes. I mean, it's always good uh, to bring the best out of each other in, in all different aspects and ways.